So let me ask you this. Do you truly understand how the internet works? How images, data, all that jazz goes from one place to the next through clouds? I don't know. Do you understand it? No. But does it work for you? Are you using the internet? Is it solving problems in your life? Yes. Okay, my lord. I rest my case. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. Thank you so much for joining me today. So for those of you that have been uh, watching videos from my channel and I started back in November 2020, um, you'll know that I've basically focused on kind of two streams. My guided meditations, which have been going live every Monday morning and then uh, GMT. And then on a Friday, I indulge my beauty product addiction. The guided meditations really have been the part of my uh, YouTube experience that really focused on my self-care journey. So I have been using guided meditations to really um, care for myself better. Recently though, I um, discovered EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, and I've been studying it and I really want to share that experience with you as I share my self-care journey with you. And I am just so, so excited to be able to share this. This, is, this video is the start of an, a series all about EFT, about emotional freedom technique, which you might know as tapping, or you might not know at all. Uh, come on this journey with me. Um, and as I'm uh, broadcasting this video or sharing this video, I've also launched a kind of partner series on my Etsy shop, where I'm going to be selling scripts and also logs and you can uh, request for a custom script to be written for you or a uh, I'll even do a custom video if that's what you prefer so I hope you enjoy this I've got a lot from learning about EFT and using the techniques that I've learned along the way and I'm just I'm just so so excited to share that with you guys so basically, um, EFT is a technique, and I'll, I'll go into it in a little bit more detail in a minute, but it's a technique that you can use to unblock um, emotional kind of blockages that you might have. Also, you can use it to release and change any kind of limiting beliefs that you might have. So you can use it for things like dealing with imposter syndrome, for developing a mindset around money and cultivating abundance. You can use it for pain relief. You can use it and it is used um, for uh, things like trauma and PTSD and the like. I mean, basically anything that you want to improve on in your life or change, I think you could probably use this technique um, for that. So in a nutshell, the theory behind this alternative therapy of emotional freedom technique or EFT tapping is a combination of ancient Chinese thoughts around acupressure and um, meridian points and combining that with words, with modern day psychology. So that's the, the kind of words part. And there are different types of um, kind of therapies within the EFT realm. Some focus on just dealing with positive affirmations whilst tapping through different points. Different points are being used. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different varieties. So what I would ex um, kind of encourage you to do is if this is something that interests you, then try out different types um, and see what works best for you. And you might find that a particular sequence and points work uh, great for one kind of issue, but for something else, um, yeah, a different type of sequence and, and script and, and the like um, would work better for you. So yeah, it's all about experimenting. And I think, you know, a really big takeaway here is, um, you know, self-care is extremely important. You know, I, I believe that. That's why I've got a self-care Karen going on here. Um, and this therapy is something that is very accessible to everyone. 
all you need basically is yourself. You need to know um, the points, you need to have the words to say, but you can do it almost anywhere and it's free. Yeah, so why not give it a go? And just to come back to something I mentioned before, so the uses of EFT are very varied. Um, it is and it has been proven to work very successfully in um, sufferers of trauma, including PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. If that's um, where you're coming from, like if that's what you need help for, then I would really, really encourage you to find um, a certified master practitioner that can work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and really tailor what they do um, specifically to you know address your problems this um therapy is not meant to replace any kind of medical advice so for example um i've used it to great effect for pain relief but if you have a broken leg for example this therapy this technique is not going to fix your broken leg what might it might do is be able to lessen the pain that you're feeling for for a time but it won't cure your broken leg so you need to think about it in that way um, and see then how you can apply it to lean into your better self. So let's talk about the different points. Now, um, different practitioners, different EFT practitioners advocate for different uh, pressure points, different meridian points in the body. And here I would just say op be open and try out different points and, you know, see what works for you. So what I'm going to share with you today are the points that I've been using, the points that I find are working for me. Um, so I'll, I'll go through those points in a moment. Just to note for um, nearly all of the points, I just use two fingers to tap with. So for example, this top of the eyebrow is a point here. And what I'm looking for when I'm tapping is a, a kind of sensation that I have experienced before when I have had uh, acupuncture. So I don't always get it on all of the points, but I certainly get it on kind of, I'd say like half the points where I kind of feel, I don't want to say numbing, but it kind of feels like a tingling, numbing kind of, it's not unpleasant, but it's not like an amazing feeling. But um, that's how you kind of know that you're hitting the acupressure point. So yeah, try out different things. You can try out with your whole hand. Um, with your fingers, um, you know, just try out different versions to see what works best for you. Um, so I, I kind of vary how I'm doing it, but let me just run through the tapping points that I use and how I do it. So a sequence for me always starts using the karate chop, which is where you hold your one hand and it doesn't matter which hand. Um, and I just use four fingers and I just tap along the side here. Okay, so that's the karate chop. Then the top of the eyebrow, I just use two fingers and I tap here. And normally you tap between five to seven times. The next point is the side of the eyebrow here. And I definitely get a tingling there. Under the eye here, I get another tingling. The nose, in between the nose and the, and the lip. Okay. And then the chin. And then for the collarbone, I use both hands, okay? You could just use one or you could do it like that. So you're going across, but I, I like to do two. After the collarbone, the next point is the side of arm. So the way that I get to this point is I just lift my arm up here and I go a little bit down sort of where the bra starts and I tap. And here I tap with four fingers. So I tap here side of arm and then the final tapping point is the top of the head so sometimes I do it like this and sometimes I just do it with two fingers like this so um, as I mentioned there are different kind of sequences um, and ways to use EFT the tapping is one thing but you need to accompany it with words and um, sometimes I will do a sequence where I will actually start off by checking in with how I'm feeling and stating what the problem is and kind of working through the feelings that I have around that particular issue. And then as I go through the different rounds of tapping, I will then start moving forward into what it is that, how do I actually want to feel? What do I want to lead, lean into? What do I want to manifest? 
I have also practiced EFT with just using a single affirmation and kind of working through um, that single affirmation. So I'm going to hopefully be doing lots of different styles um, and different subject matters of, for my videos just so that you can really um, get a good variety and see what's, what works best for you. So I really would encourage you to have a go. My first video um, is going to be all around pain relief and that is because um, that was the first um, EFT practice that I got into and it just worked and it was you know a revelation for me so I'm hoping to share that with you and that video will be going up in a week's time so in this slot but in a week's time and then every successive week I'll be loading up um, new EFT practices ready there for you so I would just encourage you to give it a go um, I do find things to be more effective, the practices to be more effective if um, I practice them on a regular basis, so like every day. Um, but, you know, that's for you to take a look at and see what works best for you. Thank you so much for watching. Just remember, on a Friday, I'll be uploading another beauty product addiction <laughs> related video. And then Mondays for the foreseeable future is going to be all about EFT. Thank you for being here. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.